Hello, welcome to Dungeon Dollars Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. Uh, we're on our 20th review for Halloween month. Today I'm reviewing uh, Image Comics Spawn New Beginnings Volume 1. Uh, who's this written by? This came out in like 2011. This is written by Will Carlton. Uh, artist is Simon Krodransky. And um, the editor is uh, Todd McFarlane. Um, so when it comes to Spawn, I wasn't a huge fan of the character, honestly. I didn't like the TV show that HBO put out. Never could find the comics, really. Like, um, I, like I, I had one, I had like an, a random issue, because uh, Image Comics did this thing where they would reprint the first issue of their old series and they would sell for a dollar. I had, I had the Spawn one dollar uh, issue where, where I couldn't find it, unfortunately. If I had found it, I would have reviewed it for the channel. Um, but strangely enough, I did like the movie. Even though a lot of people hate the movie. I don't know, it's just one of those... Uh, the Spawn movie, I don't know, I just like it for some reason. I watch I watch it almost every couple of years. And I'm prob- I'll am i probably review it this month. And uh, this book is a reboot of Spawn. Uh, Al-, Al Simmons is dead. And a new Spawn has emerged called Jim Downing. Um, where it's not very common for when a character gets rebooted that you have like a black superhero um, get re- rebooted as a white soup uh, <laughs> as a white guy. Uh, usually, it's the opposite. I think the only other like comic character that's that where he started off black and became a white guy was uh, Shadowhawk, which is like I think is another Image comic character. Um, let me ch- double check. Shadowhawk comic. He he has a- his gimmick besides the cool costume is he has AIDS. <laughs> oh, he was created by Jim Valentino. Isn't that the guy who who uh, wrote um, the Pact comic book? Hmm. Huh. Is he image comic book character? Yeah, he's he's an image. Yeah, he's an image. Yeah, Show Hawk. I don't know if you look. He's basically Dark Hawk with just you know with more metal. And, uh, hmm. Oh my God, he even looks like Wolverine in this one issue. That's that's retarded. Um, yeah. So this. Obviously, I picked this up when it first released, and I didn't. Vol- I didn't pick up volume two, so that sh- that should tell you how I feel about this comic. First off, it's drawn. It do- it does that fucking thing I hate when comic artists do, where they they're obviously tracing photographs, which I get. It helps make the people in the comic book look more more realistic but then what ends up happening is like um they'll they'll like obviously you can't find the same person to uh, to do every pose you need them to do right unless you have models working for you like that guy uh from that brian k vaughn uh comic book deus ex uh, sorry ex machina where the artist had like assistants pose for him and then he would t- take a photo and a trace um, the lines here it's like yeah because because they're doing that that like uh, photocopy bullshit photo tracing bu- bullshit the characters will like look like different people from panel to panel there's a lot of um, like the guy will reuse the same panels for conversations and shit which I fucking I also hate that and the comic book uh, the the inking it's like very dark at times so like I'll be reading this book with the light with with obviously the with bright lights on it and I, I can't 
I can't, there are times where I can't fucking see what's going on because of just how dark the pages are. Uh, how it's heavily inked. So that, my major complaint with this comic book is mostly the art, honestly. And the dialogue isn't too great either. But the, the story, it, it's pretty thick. Though one, another complaint I have, this is supposed to be an introduction for a new spawn, but, um, but, sorry. Yeah, like, you don't get his introduction here, They but they tell you about it, but, like, that's kind of, that's, that's kind of annoying. You couldn't, because I, I think he got introduced, what, in, like, spawn 198, you couldn't add a, a few more, uh, issues so we can get the complete origin story for this guy uh, but yeah the story is he was in like a coma for 20 years uh, he wakes up he has amnesia but he knows his his name how old is the guy supposed to be uh, they don't fucking tell you like I assume he's like in his 40s but like I know they they call him a sex symbol so like you assume he's not that old but who knows um, he comes out of a coma, he can heal people, and he becomes this, because he can heal people, he, he, he becomes a celebrity, he's living with this guy, um, named Mark Rosen, who looks like, who's obviously based off this one Jewish American actor, I can't remember his name, but he was in, uh, what was that one movie, where, where like, Terrence, uh, Let's, let me look, just double check, Terrence Howard, he was, Terrence Howard played a pimp in this one movie, and that, that Jewish actor guy was also in it, what was the name of that fucking movie, um, let me just pause, and I'll try to find the, the actor I'm thinking, yeah, the, the his friend is, uh, based off, uh, based off DJ Qualis, the actor, who you'll know from, what other shit has this guy worked on? Uh, f fucking IMDb. Man, he was in Man in the High Castle. He was in Road Trip. He was in the new guy. He was in the core. That funny meme where the FBI raids this nerd's, this hacker's, uh, um, this hacker's like uh, apartment, and there's like lolly uh, anime girls all, on all the screens and shit and he's like deleting all the, he's like erasing all his hard drives that's from that movie the core uh, if, if people didn't know so yeah like this guy is his manager uh he has his kind of hot girlfriend who's always hanging out with um with with uh nothing but bra bras and panties <laughs> in the apartment and yeah uh, he, the main character, despite this, his best friend who he made his manager, who's living at his apartment, he fucks his girl, the dude's girlfriend, he cucks him, and it's like the guy, like, and the, the guy was also in the apartment when this happened, and f somehow he didn't fucking notice, hey, uh, my girlfriend, sounds like someone's having sex in my apartment, and the only other people here is my best friend and girlfriend. Huh? It's like, dude, oh my god, that was so cringe. Uh, the other shit that's going on besides from this, the main character trying to chase the celebrity, uh, he's getting blackmailed by some vampire dude, uh, who's in alliance with Vindicator, not Vindicator, Violator, who's the clown guy from Spawn, the original Spawn comics, uh, who's... Uh, you'll know from the movies and shit if you ever watch that. Um, he, he's in alliance with Violator. He wants to blackmail Jim Downing, which is the new spawn. I can't remember if I <laughs> if I mentioned that. Uh, to, that he uh, he has he knows about the guy's uh, background and history, so he wants him to the new spawn to join his army because the forces of heaven and earth. Are still at war, even though didn't like end game that spawn, end game comic book like finish that whole thing. Cause then like spawn, I heard like spawn, um, it ended like the Al Simmons run ended with him kicking, kicking God and the devil's ass and ascending into heaven, which is super, 
which as a Catholic is very, very, very pisses, pisses me off. Todd McFarlane, you are a traitor to Catholics, you piece of shit. Um, that your toys are okay. <clears throat> yeah, so you have that going on. You also have Mel Bolgias, I guess, is still alive, and he's going around to all all his old service servants, uh, killing them and collecting their their power, so he can build his strength up, so he can uh, obviously fight the new spawn and try to take out, the, you know, conquer the earth and shit. And you also have Sam and Twitch is in here, and Sam is dying from some, I think it's some kind of curse or whatever, and Twitch uh, eventually finds out about the new spawn and goes to look for him so he can heal, um, so he can heal his partner, but he doesn't know that the new spawn isn't Al Simmons, so you have this cliffhanger at the end. I don't know, it's a, I kind of like... The, com the second time around, I kind of like this comic book, but I fucking hate the art. The dialogue is kind of shitty. Um, there, there's this news, there's these fucking newsreel scenes where they, where they obviously make the one right wing news channel look, look bad. That kind of, and, and like, which makes no sense because he's like making fun of this, um, this chicks, this, uh, this old woman's. TV show who has a boomer audience when pre 2016 Fox's news was primarily a boomer audience and probably still is to this day you have young people young right wing say pretend that they watch Fox News I'll catch it once in a while for Tucker but besides from that I guess that Mark Stein guy is okay but like I don't fucking know but yeah I I don't know, it's like, it seems like, it, I doubt fucking Fox News would make fun of a bo of someone for having a boomer audience when they themselves have a boomer audience. And it's like, what the fuck? That, that kind of bothered me. But yeah, I would say, I don't know, I would say it's very plot heavy, which is cool. Though the dialogue at times is pretty shitty. Um, the... The Jim Downing's character has a girlfriend named Sarah. I'm guessing she's a nurse or something. They never say. There's a scene where they're surrounded by paparazzi and one of them gets hit by a truck. And because they were hassling his girlfriend, he doesn't want to save uh, save this dude. But his girlfriend uh, basically, you know, like convinces him to do it. And then begs him to do it, and then he eventually gives in, and it gives him a hard time for like, for like not doing it, for not doing it fast enough. When like he he she knows why he was hesitant to heal this guy because they were hassling his his he was pissed off they were hassling his girlfriend, uh, which by the way he cheated on his girlfriend. <laughs> what a what an awesome dude. <laughs> Ah, a lot of people do that. that. That's not good or bad. It is bad. What am I talking about? Um, yeah, but like, I don't know. That this this new this this guy who's supposed to be a superhero is kind of an asshole. Uh, I might check out if I do find volume two. Maybe I'll read it. I don't know. I I think I rather, even though people say the original run of Spawn was shit because it, a lot of it was just. Him hanging around homeless people in alleys and this shit happening around him. I think I'd rather read about that than this. Because at least with Al Simmons, you know Al Simmons is an asshole. Right? And Al Simmons himself knows he's an asshole. But this guy, it's like, dude. And and he's like fame hungry as well. Like, he, he, he there's a lot of scenes where he's just basking at his new like getting off at his new celebrity basking in the limelight it's like oh my god fame chasing bitch but yeah if i have to give it a rating i would say it's a six six point five i honestly think this this artist should not should not be uh drawing superhero comics and should stick to horror comics so that's that's the aesthetic obviously that we're going for and i, I also forgot to mention there's not a lot of fight scenes in here, 
Um, there's one, and and the demon designs were pretty weak. But aside from that, that's all I have to say. Peace.